Praise the Lord. Today, I want to consider something in the book of Daniel. In the book of Daniel. And then, we'll be talking on the message entitled, Nebuchadnezzar's Sleepless Nights. Hallelujah. Nebuchadnezzar's Sleepless Nights. Or you can say, Nebuchadnezzar's Restless Nights. But it's a sleepless night. I don't be reading Daniel chapter 2. Daniel 2. And I will read uh, 1, 2, 4. And I will drop. And I will go back to. We we'll go forward to verse 29. And I will talk about it. And I will pray. Shall we read? Daniel 2. Mm -hmm. 1 to 4. And then you jump to verse 29. And in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams, wherewith his spirit was troubled, and his sleep break from him. Then the king commanded to call the magicians, and the astrologers, and the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans, for to show the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Then I have dreamed a dream. And my spirit was troubled to know the dream. Mm -hmm. Then spake the Chaldeans to the king in Syria, O king, live forever. Tell thy, thy servants the dream, and we will show the interpretation. 29. Mm -hmm. As for thee, O king, thy thoughts came into my, thy mind upon thy bed. What should come to pass hereafter? And he that revealeth secrets maketh known to thee, what shall come to pass? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So from the passage we read right now, the passage we read right now, we were told that trouble started in the White House of Nebuchadnezzar, in the White House or in the Kingdom of Babylon. Trouble, a great chaos started. The king had a strange dream, a terrifying dream, which made him sleepless throughout all the night, which made him uncomfortable and restless because he desired to know the meaning of the dream that he had. The dream was so strange and was so terrifying. The king started thinking. Before then, the king was thinking. He was in his bedroom. He was thinking about so many things. The king thought about the Syria Empire. How the Syria, as the Syria Empire, uh, Empire rose, rose to power, became the greatest power, the greatest political power in the earth. And then all of a sudden, the kingdom fell. The kingdom was overthrown and destroyed. The book of was thinking about that one. And he was also thinking about how all of a sudden his own kingdom, his own kingdom has risen to power. Has risen to become the world's greatest power. He was thinking about all those stuff. And he, the book of was also thinking about the future, how what the future is going to be like for him. What is going to happen to his kingdom because a serial kingdom rose and fell. Then we can the head of other kingdom that rose and fell. So what is going to happen to him? How come the outcome all of a sudden his own kingdom has risen to become the world's greatest power? Is his kingdom going to be the world's greatest power forever? Or oh, one day, he's also going to over uh, the throne. His kingdom is going to be overthrown and burn to ashes, just like a Syrian king, you know? He was thinking so wild. He was thinking so deep. And then in his sleep, he got a dream. The dream was strange. 
The dream was terrifying. The dream was fearful. And then, what happened? He requested or he sent for his wise men, the magicians. The magicians, his astrologers, the, 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 all those the, all those related to magic. All those, all those that relate to magic. Sorcery. So that they will come and do what? Tell him the meaning of the dream. I want to ask you. What do you dream? What do you do? As a child of God, what do you also dream? What do you do to your dream? Do you seek meanings? your dreams? Do you try to look for people? Hey! Do you try to look for people to interpret your dream? Do you? Bible said Nebuchadnezzar he sought for the mediums of his land, Babylon. Those who are able to give mediums through the gods, the demons, he sought for their concern. What about you? Maybe you think that dream is something that is ordinary. Dream is ordinary to you. Dream is nothing. Dream is just a dream. You just slept, so you just dreamt the dream. So it's okay. Is that your mentality? Some things are happening to you right now. Because of what? The result of the dream that you dreamt. What you refuse to work on it? What you refuse to see counsel and interpretation about it? So that thing is happening to you. And information and fact information about your future was given to you. Every dream that you dream has to do with your future. Any dream you dream has to do with what? Your future. And as I continue, you will understand why. You don't have to take your dreams for joke. You need to take your dreams serious. What am I going to say? When you dream, you can say, I hold the book and this, he dreamt and it was uncomfortable. But you dream and you feel comfortable. And you even eat food on top of it the same morning. Early morning, you eat food on top of it. You, are not, you, are, you don't worry, you don't care about your dream. You are not bothered about your dream. But the king dreamt and was uncomfortable. The king had a sleepless when you dream certain dreams. Do you have sleep this night? Is it dreams when I dream I don't sleep again? I don't sleep again. I have to wake up. I have to pray. I have to seek for many. The king sent people. He sent for all those people who can help him to interpret the dream. When you dream, who do you seek for? Who do you look to? Who do you, who, who do you call? Who do you go to to have the meaning of your dream? Because your dream tells a message. Your dream carries a message. Your dream converts, it converts a message about your future. It carries a vital information about your tomorrow. You have to know about your tomorrow. You have to know about your future. You have to know about what will happen to you in the next few hours, in the next one hour, in the next one month, in the next year, the next two years, the next five years. Listen, your dream has a connection to what will happen to you. What happened to you today? What happened to you yesterday? What happened to you some time ago was as, as a result of a dream that you had before. Cast your mind back. Cast your mind back. You have had that dream before, but you took it for granted. Nebuchadnezzar said, I want to understand the meaning of my dream. And this time around, he was wild. The king was desperate. The king wanted to know the true meaning of the dream. So, and he, he didn't want to. He doesn't want his, uh, his sorcerers and the magicians to lie to him about the dream. He wanted to know the true source of the meaning. So I said, look, with this dream, don't, don't think that I'm going to tell you the dream I had. I am not going to. <laughs> I want you to be able to tell, if you can tell me the dream that I dreamt, then I can be sure of the interpretation that, the, the interpretation that will come to you, that will come to me, that will come from you. 
Hallelujah. The king wanted to know the true meaning. He called the magicians, the magicians came. They tried, they did their best, they did everything. They said, King, what are you asking for from us? It's impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. What you're asking for from us is what? Impossible. Nobody can interpret your dream this way. Because they have they have they have command to lie to the king. And the king said, Look, if you cannot interpret anybody who first to interpret this dream, any of you that first to interpret this dream shall be put to death. Praise the Lord. When you are looking for solutions for your problems, where do you go? Can you say you go be born? No tower solution. No tower nago. Hello, don't you have to go at that to the gamete? Tap a matter of low meaning. Solution. The member here. Let me put it this way. Chaba. Go to a chaba. Can have also look at here. Probably about your me. Boy. Where do you go? Who leads you where? Do you go to meet Fatish priest? I don't want to watch a No more, ya. Oh, ya, Do you go to Abodon for solution? Do you go to Olala Male? Do you know Male? Olala Male? I just don't know Olala Male. Do you go to them? Do you go to white garments? Do you go to sell it? Do you go to Kantinka? Bless me, Kantinka, bless me, Kantinka. Do you go to Kantinka? Do you go to Nayomona? Do you go to Shanky? The shanky kids. You go. Where do you go? Oh, you to Sajiana. Do you go to Jaffa? <laughs> do you? Do you go to Jaffa? <laughs> do you go to Adopaya? Oh, you are a bossa, she alone. To fight a machine alone. Where do you go to? Where do you have a problem? Christians. Don't be deceived. They cannot offer you anything. They can't tell you the truth. They will only conspire among themselves to lie to you. The solution to your problems, the solution to your dreams, the solution to your future has a connection with the Almighty God. Only God can tell the authenticity of your dream. Only God can give the authenticity of your future. Only God can tell your future. Only God can interpret your problems. Only God, God made you. And God can tell you what is wrong with you. God can tell you where you are going tomorrow. God can tell you. God sees the future. God is omnipotent. He is omnipotent means that he is the most powerful. He is all powerful. He can do anything. God is omnipresent. God is anywhere. Amen. Anywhere you go, you will find God. Amen. Anywhere you go, you will find God. Anywhere they hide you, God is there with you. Wherever they will keep you, God will be with you. In your hospital, God is there. Amen. In your school, God is there. In your workplace, where God is there. In your home, God is there. Anywhere you go, heaven is around. Omniscient means that God is all knowing. God is all knowing. God knows it all. God knows everything. God knows it all. God knows it. He knows it. He knows it. He knows it. He can interpret it. He can explain it. Nebuchadnezzar. He will lie. 
by the sources of his of, of, of his gods, of his false magicians, false prophets, they could not help him. If demons, what did Kanibi could not help Nebuchadnezzar? Now you have a Shanki Bawabo. Hello, Moko, the Bawabo. Can't can't care. Can't can't care. What are you talking about? Would they help you? Who will help you, boy? To what time, Mono, ya, the Bawabo? Money Bato, no fool, the Bawabo. What about Bato, Jata? <laughs> Christians, let us know the truth. The Bible says the truth that we know will do what? So that's free. So I am not afraid of preaching the truth. There's a difference between judging and talking about the truth. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? More than that, you get across and you get MP. What's going on here? To fight, to fight, to me, to fight, to lose. Let me have to know my kete. Now the first time I go, me nigga fear. Why you fuse your fear, Jeremy? You get bato, bato me ayo ham, bato ba lije, bato ke na lije mama yo. I go fuse ye. I go last year, low and I can no mifu. Praise the Lord. Ah, to get me to fear so much. Let us know the truth. So, Nebuchadnezzar said no. He doesn't want, he wants to know the truth. And Bible said that he took a band of God called Daniel. Say Daniel. Amen. To make sure that he receives an accurate interpretation of his dreams. If, let that one, Nebuchadnezzar abandoned you know why? Let me tell you something. It's not that Nebuchadnezzar forgot the dream. He did not forget about the dream. But the reason why he didn't tell them was because he wanted to make sure that they are telling nothing but the truth. Because he wanted to find them out. He wanted to test them and see that, look, from my childhood, my fourth, even my forefathers, those who lived before me, they have been with you for a very long time. And they have worked with you. I've also been with you from my childhood. Now I want to know your true source. Whether you are truth, truthful or you are you are full of lies. We have to test them. Hallelujah. 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 So after he, after he test, after testing them, he realized that look, they know nothing. They don't they, don't, they, they can't help him. So they started to try another person. Who, who, who in the in the in the what? In the person of what? Daniel. In whom the Bible said that the spirit of the true God is in him. So after the, after the book of Nazar has gone to all the shrines, he not tell what? He turned to the God Almighty. Who do you turn to? Forget about your past. No, no, forget who you are. Get up, Pasi. Get up, Mwata. Get up, Mwata. Get up, Mwata. Get up, Mwata. Everything that you have gone through is past. Who now do you turn to in the present? Who are you now turning to in the present to seek for solutions to your problems? Hallelujah. He turned to God. A Bible said that in God's solution, the solutions that the shrines could not do, could not give him, the solutions that the uh, who? The magicians and the sorcerers could not give. The fetish priests at Alexa could not give. Give me, man. 
Daniel. 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 So don't look for solutions from where? Such areas. Come to the Almighty. And when you dream, make sure that you seek the man of God. Not just a, sometimes when you dream, who do you go to? You tell friends. You tell a mother, you tell listen. Why you dream? You tell a mother, you think well, listen. What an old man can see while sitting down. Your mother cannot see. Your grandfather is talking to you and you want to go and ask your mother. Sometimes we want to dream, we feel our mother will give us interpretation. Your mother self, she needs someone to interpret her own. You dream and then you tell people, you, when you dream, your dream must be to God. Your dream, you must seek a man of God, not just, not all men of God interpret dream too. So that's the difference. You have, to, you have to locate a man of God that has the ability to interpret spiritual dreams. That don't help you. No. Dreams is so confidential that if you are misdirected uh, or misinterpreted, it will create a problem for you. I know of... Uh, some people, I heard, of, I heard a story whereby a certain woman, a, a widow, she did everything possible to raise her children at a very tender age. Three children. He did his best. She did her possible best. What was she doing? Nothing. Sales come. In Katia Casana, can you tell her? Yes, pa. No, my name is Faye. I just mean, you know, just sometimes she has to, you know, uh, uh, work as a, as, as a help, uh, house, house help. Sometimes as a nanny to help with the children. And the children, she tried her best and one became a lawyer. The other became a doctor. Are you listening? And the next person became a scientist. And they were in money. But just at the time when the mother was supposed to enjoy the fruits of her labor, the children started having strange, strange, strange dreams. They would dream and see their mother carrying matches. Run after them. Sometimes they will see, they will have a dream whereby their mother is making love to them in their dream. They will, they, they will have all sorts of all sorts of dreams. Bad, bad, bad dreams. And then they consulted an auntie. An auntie somewhere. And then the auntie took them to where? A shrine. And at the shrine, they were told that their mother was or is behind their predicament. Can you imagine? You want me to lay? Me a good man? Me a true kaya? It is a kaya. Kekwe bi a you a fair do a fair for na ba fair da ko bi a kwa bi ko chon lawyer, bi ko chon doctor. Equal to scientists. All this. Back over to my it will be. So, what happened? They hated the mother. They abandoned the mother. The, when the mother go there to visit them, they will beat the mother and chase out the mother out of the, out of the house. They will give strict instructions to the security guard. Never. To allow. Sometimes the mother will go there hungry. The mother will have to stay by the gate and it will be raining. Rain will be beating the mother. She had to walk from the village to the city. 
No food, nothing. Very sick. The mother came home. Me and Dozo are out of the book. The Dozo are out of the book. Almost Zelle. They swear you are sick. And because around that time, the woman can no longer, she can no longer work because she's now old. So who will now feed her? The time she was a young woman, she was devoting her time, doing everything to help the children to become somebody. Now that she is now old and she cannot even do anything, the children said you are rich. Because of what? The dreams, the what? They were what? They were happy. Out of pain, hunger, physician, the mother died. Just died like that. And they went to call the children that the mother is dead. They didn't even pass there. To say we are going to bury. They never passed there. They all just celebrated with their girlfriends. They were giving money to girlfriends. Using money to buy foolish things, certain things. So after the mother died, years later, trouble started. So now that your mother is dead, who now do you blame for the troubles that you are going through? Their wives' womb were shut. No children was coming in. They could not give birth. Problems after the order in the house. And then God smiled on them once. And then Somebody, a sister, or a sister in Christ connected to, <coughs> you know, luckily enough, the last born got married to somebody who's God fear, who's a Christian. <coughs> who attends church at the Royal Standard Gospel Church? And most Prophet Rudolph. Amen. <coughs> so, they, so through that, they connected the last born, and the man of God revealed what was actually happening. I said, look, when they were praying, said, God opened my eyes. <coughs> and I saw that you once you, you are you are you, you there's a confession you need to make and that you have treated the mother very badly. You call the mother a witch. The mother suffered raised, suffered to, to, to raise you. You called her a witch. Say, oh, mother, mama, you're like Talking. So I said, no, your mother is not a witch. Let's pray. God revealed the witch, the witch in your family. The one behind all the problems. I said, no. It wasn't your mother doing all these things. It was a bad person, bad personality in your family. That has captured the, 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 the figure, the face of your mother, and come to terrify you in the dream. That witch is right in your family and behind all your woes. So we we'll pray. We said that pray. We pray, 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 pray. They prayed. And then one old lady in the house started going mad. For the Holy Ghost fire arrested the woman in the house. And then she started confessing, started crying, trouble started. The woman became crippled by the Holy Ghost, became blind, and then sickness strike through the prayer. Then the woman now called for the children and confess everything. How she uses the face of the mother to do what? To prank them, to terrify them their dreams. How shall be involved in their child barrenness? Their fruitlessness. Everything, how she has been involved in it. Through her what? Her witchcraft COVID. Through witchcraft. Your mother is not a witch. I am the witch. Be free your boy. Show. I'm going to match with you. I'm going to match with you. I'm going to match with you. I'm going to match with you.
explain them Ubu. So you see, I'm just using this illustration to explain to you that. Not all, don't dream, dream, and then try to have meaning to yourself. The meaning to yourself. It will not work. Satan is sensible. <coughs> if he's the one doing you, that witch is the one doing you. Don't think he or she will want to come to you in the dream with a physical body. Without the Jimmy. <laughs> He will use or she will use the picture of another to come and terrify you. To come because Satan is a deceiver. So Satan will deceive you with those pictures. But if they had consulted the word of God earlier, that problem would have been solved and now they are crying blood. Yet the mother is gone. They don't even see the corpse of their mother. Where their mother was buried, they didn't even know. All because I met Chamanyaya. Mother who struggled and suffered. So let us be careful. All that, all that I'm saying, I even had realistic issues like that. Whereby even some members of my church even thought the same. That their mother was that. Because of the dreams they, they, they are having. And certain things. Certain role plays they want. I said, no. Your mother is not. Your sister is not. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So let us be careful. Let us know the truth. Seek to know the truth. Only God can help you with the truth <coughs> of your dream. Look at what Daniel did. When Daniel wanted to explain the dream, you know what he did? He prayed to God. Amen. He humbled himself. He prayed to God. He sought God. You see God. When you want to understand your dream, you see God. Do you see God? Do you seek God's man? The one that doesn't want to the man of God, the prophet of God, to ask for the meaning. What about you? He humbled himself. Look, let's read James 4 2. Another person will also read uh, Job 33, verse 14 to 17. James 4 2, and then Job 33, verse 14 to 17. Let's go quick. James 4 to Job 33, verse 14 to 17. Eh? Who is reading? James chapter 4, verse 2. If you have open read, Job 33, verse 14 to 17. Job 33. I want James first. Has anybody opened the James? James 4 uh -huh. You desire, but you not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. Amen. 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 Yes. You don't have solution to your mean, uh, 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 meaning to your dream because what? You did not ask for it. For it. You didn't ask for counsel. For wisdom, when you are sometimes you know you 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 be so confused. When you are confused and you need advice, who do you go to? Who do you call? Do you call your friends for advice? Where do you go to for advice? Wisdom comes from God. Wisdom comes from God. Amen. Amen. Blessings and glory.
that we should not lean on our own what? Understanding. understanding. Don't lean on your own understanding. In everything, acknowledge God. And He shall do what? He shall direct your path. Huh. But you will go and take knowledge. You go and take advice of your boss. When I am there. You go and take advice from your boss. And what your boss will tell you, the coffee. I am there. And oh, oh, okay. you will be, you, you be misled. And then you go and pay money that they're not supposed to pay. You go and do what they're not supposed to do. Listen, don't go to your friends. What you need, of course. There are certain friends that they are very good at giving good advices. Of course, some friends give good advice. I understand. But you have to make sure that your friend is that type of a mature Christian. But to be on the safer side, seek the man of God. All, all the Israelites, all the, all the people, the great people that ever succeeded, in the early days, you know what they were doing? They go to consult the man of God. Amen. They go to consult somewhere. They consult all the prophets of God. Amen. What about you? You don't consult. You just take your decision. And then you walk. The truth is that God has a different agenda for you. Yes. Check on my GP. Check on my status on WhatsApp. Go and check on my status on WhatsApp. God has it all for you. Amen. Never ever try to understand that things at your own level. Seek God's counsel. Amen. And you'll be blessed. Amen. There's some people that came to seek God's counsel and they are blessed today. Amen. Because they're afraid of one of God will say no. Galato. Galato. What will I say? No. If God says yes. What will I say? Yes. If God says no, you cannot bribe me. Hallelujah. Let's read our final word and then we'll go. Uh -huh. For God speaketh once. For God speaketh once. Yes, yeah, twice. Twice. Yet man perceived the truth. Yet we don't perceive what God is saying. In a dream. Oh, in a dream. In a vision of the night. In a vision of the night. So a dream is a vision. Eh? When deep sleep falleth upon men. Oh, go boy, me tongue. And yes, I mean, die, yo. But you let me just on and let's move on. In slumberings upon the bed. Eh? Then In slumbering. Then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction. That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. I don't know the last time my old friend Ajele told me about a dream. Yeah, well, guy, 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 but I got a shampai. Yeah, what did he say? I shampai. Guy, you know, no. God will give you. Listen to me. God will give you sweet dreams about the future. Don't forget them. Okay. Good. Not one shadow will dream. Can't the chair forget it in that book? How old was Joseph? You will say you have not got it to the stage of Joseph. Hallelujah. Amen. When you Bible says that dreams come from God. Amen. It's genuine. It's genuine. What do you dream of? Yeah, no, 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 dream of. And the dream, dream that God gives you has to do with your what? Your future. Your future. Not what you dream. Because that following Wednesday, we are not a genuine, genuine sponge <laughs> in school. Genuine Papa, Joe, genuine King. You are not know. But what you dream, let God interpret your dream for you. Amen. Dream come from God. Bible says, when we sleep in the night, deep, when deep sleep falls on you, when you are slumbering, that's the bed, oh, oh, don't you feel, when you are sleeping, and then God will open your eyes, your spiritual eye, because, let, let's see, you are made of three, 
you are a spirit, you are a soul, and you are a body. So what you are seeing is just a body. Okay? You also have a spirit. You have a soul. Your spirit is in tattooing with your soul. When you dream, when you lie down to sleep, your body has finished its own part of work. Your spirit will now also go for another hours of journey. Your spirit or your soul will was your soul will move deeper to walk into the rest of the spirit to tell you things that are going to happen to you in your future. You understand? When you have a dream that somebody is dead, that's what your soul wants to see from the spirit. Because anything that will happen in the physical realm will first be revealed, will first take place in where? In the spiritual world. So there's a spiritual world. When you sleep and you are dreaming, you are not in the physical world, though. you are in the spirit. The one prophet will be in the spirit. That's why also being you. You also have the opportunity to be in the spirit when you dream. And then you tell me, sister, when you, when you sleep, you dream. I can be dreaming. Can I dream me? Don't dream. You know, if Moreno was able to hijack the deal of Lukaku, <laughs> then you know that Satan can also hijack your dream. So if you are there and you tell me, when I see you, I don't dream, come and see me for the river. Every human being needs to dream. Even children dream. Even children dream. Babies dream. What did they sleep and look at their mouth? They laugh. <laughs> Babies, do you, what do you think they are dreaming of? I don't know tell you now. They don't tell you now. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. Can it be? So dreams actually come from God. Did you, did you finish? You read to 17? Yes. So God will come and tell you things that will happen to you. This morning, God showed me so many things. Listen, sometimes the things that I come to say here, it's not all that I receive when I'm standing. Or oh, God will show me spiritually here. Many times God shows me. But sometimes God shows me through dreams. And then when I come and stand here and I ask you, or oh, I say it, you tell me it's true. Yes. How did I get it? Through dream. So God speaks to me in dream and also what? In vision. vision. I can stand here right now, have a revelation about you. That one is also there. God will talk about you is there. But sometimes I dream. Sometimes I dream. And it's true. What about you? You have had a dream. No, tell it. I feel like it. All I know is not bad. No, 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 no. You had a dream that you are going to flat. Excuse me, toilet. In the public place. At your age. Not even this small girl. <laughs> But at your age, see the little thing. Will you do it? No. Will you do it? So, man. You see, but you have a dream whereby you are going to toilet in a public place. And then you are okay. Hey, you are okay. It's disgrace. God is telling you, okay. Disgrace is coming to you. Shame is coming to you. You are running out of glory. And you are seeing the account. I should show you the account. You are going to go to 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 <laughs> you see? And then you are happy about that dream. You are okay, you are comfortable, you don't worry yourself. And then the few time to come, few months to come, few years to come. You have a dream. You have a dream whereby you see all your teeth. Some of your teeth are removed. 
Oh, 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 I'm a guy, but I'm a guy. 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 I'm a who told you about mistake? If you had a dream that you are dead, you will die. If you had a dream that your mother died and you keep quiet, your mother will die. Your father will die. Your friend will die. Don't keep on it. Keep on it. Because you want to receive that information from the rest of the spirit to the physical. So don't joke with dreams. The mother also became restless and sleepless. Because what? He had received a vast information in his dream and he seek with all his heart to know the meaning of it. So that if there is any advice or there is something about what he could do about it, he would do it first before it happens. And then you, when you dream, you keep quiet. God help us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's bring our lesson to an end so that we can pray. Mm-hmm.